Hi, this is Kevin Trainer, and I'd like to welcome you to my tutorial on how to install the databases for the My Guitar Shop exercises. Uh, this is primarily for the students in my um, LIS 490 DBL course at uh, Illinois Gisless, but some other people may have found their way too. Um, we're using a uh, textbook called uh, Marox My Sequel, and we've already done a tutorial where we have installed uh, the My Sequel tools, and uh, we have installed uh, some of the files that go with the textbook, including. Uh, the databases that are referred to within the textbook. And we're doing a group of exercises um, that are associated with the textbook, but they don't come with it per se. They, they're only given out to, to instructors, and they're called My Guitar Shop. And um, these are the exercises that we're doing within the class. And so in order to do them, Students have to get hold of the files, uh, download them, um, and use them to install the databases that we're going to use for the exercises. So, how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, um, I can't leave these out on my Course Info website because they're not my property. And um, so, what I want to do is to uh, take you to our Moodle site. Now we happen to be doing this activity in the current uh, teaching of the class in week four, but that could be different from teaching to teaching. But uh, I'm going to go to our Moodle site. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to use my home page. Go to the Moodle login. And log in and now I'm logged in and I'm going to go to our course and I'm going to spin down to the week that we're currently doing this under uh, week four. And I, I want to download this uh, file that is a zip of the setup files for the My Guitar Shop exercises. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, I'm operating this tutorial on Windows. A seven that's why I have Windows Explorer and I'm just going to save the file which is uh, I believe going to go to downloads okay and that's all I'm going to have to do with uh, Moodle because I've gotten access to the files so I'm, I'm going to close that and I'm going to open up the file explorer and just confirm that I can find the file that I want under uh, do download and it's a zipped uh, directory called MGS My Guitar Shop EX Exercise Starts. So these are the start files for My Guitar Shop exercises. It's exactly what we want. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up because it's a file that we want. And I'm going to go explore another part of our file system. I'm going to open up another copy of uh, Windows Explorer. And uh, you may remember from the install that we did in a previous tutorial that on our uh, Windows machine on the C drive that we created a directory to hold the files from the Maroc textbook. And here we have it at uh, we open up we we open up Maroc, and then we open up my SQL, okay, and we have a bunch of subdirectories, 
but we don't have one called MGS EX starts. So let's um, go over to this other copy of Explore and right click and say we want to copy that. And then I'm going to paste it into the uh, directory. And of course, it's still compressed. So I'm going to double click on it and have it uh, uncompressed. And of course, that doesn't work anymore. So let's right click on it and say extract all. And that looks like that's going to do what I want it to do. OK, that's good. OK, and uh, what can I do here? I don't really need that zip file over there anymore, so I think I'll uh, delete that. Eh, kind of a little bit of housekeeping, right? And um, let's look in our new directory, MGS EX starts. And you'll see that uh, we have some compatibility issues here, but if we go down through another level of directories, we'll see we've got um, create my guitar shop. Then we've got product details, product statements, and product summary, um, which are not things that we're going to have to use right yet. Okay. All right. So I think that's going to work fine. So. Um, we just have to remember that the files we want are two directories down within this uh, Maroc MySQL uh, uh, directory um, tree. OK, fine. I'm going to close my Windows Explorers. And the easiest way for us to uh, run a script that sets up the database is to do it out of MySQL Workbench. So, so far, when we did the install, I think it automatically opened up Workbench. But right now we have to go find it. So I'm going to go down to uh, Start. And again, I'm using Windows 7, so it's a little bit old school. And uh, I'm going to open up All Programs. And you can see there's a pr program group for MySQL. And I open that up. And there's MySQL Workbench 6.3 CE Community Edition. That's just what I want. So I'm going to click on that, and it should fire up. OK. Now, if I don't want to do that every time, I could. So let's uh, close this just for the heck of it. OK. And let's uh, try that again, but let's do another another activity. Go to All Programs, open up MySQL, find the right program, MySQL Workbench. But instead, right-click on it and say that we want to pin it to the taskbar. And I think this works pretty similarly in newer versions of uh, Windows. Um, but we can see now that down on the taskbar, we have that icon. We don't have to go searching for uh, Workbench over and over again. So we're going to come in. We're going to click on the icon for Workbench. And we're going to open it up. And when we did the install, we had a connection that was properly set up for us. So I'm going to double click on the gray square that connects that. OK, and here's, uh, here's uh, some of the query scripts that we ran when we set up the databases that came uh, directly with the book. And I'm going to close those. And you will notice that uh, down here, if we go over to the Navigator panel on the left side, the last of the sections in the Navigator panel is Schemas. And you'll notice that uh, you may recall it came with sys, which are uh, some internal metadata databases for uh, MySQL. And we installed three, database, three databases that came with the textbook, AP, EX, and OM. But we don't see My Guitar Shop. Okay, and that's because we have to install it. 
and we install it the same way that we install the other ones we we open a script file well, how do we do that let's go up to the toolbar area and the second icon the one that has SQL in a little open folder we'll click on that and it'll open a script and it's pointing to the old directory that held the DB setup so let's uh, let's point to the top level directory Maroc and then open up MySQL and then open up MGSEX starts and you remember we have to go through another level of directory because of operating system compatibility issues and now there is a file called create my guitar shop and if you look over under type you see that it has the extension SQL which makes it an SQL script file and we're going to click on that and we're going to uh, click the open button and what we have here is a very similar kind of script uh, to the ones that we to the one that we used to create the other databases and there's a comment up in the top this script creates the database named my guitar shop that's the one we want and you may recall that up here on the toolbar for the um, uh, script editor panel that we're in we've got two lightning bolt icons and we could really use either of these to execute the script I have slightly different services but it's the one on the left that we're going to want to do the one that's just a plain lightning bolt so we're going to click on that and I draw your attention down here to the bottom of our window and we can see that we've had a lot of things run okay and they are uh, they have created the database and we can tell by the green checks that things have run well okay so what's the next indicator that we have a database well um, we're going to go over to the left side to the navigator panel and to the last of the sections where it says schemas um, it doesn't automatically it doesn't automatically pop up okay this is a kind of tool where you have to refresh it so to the right of the word schemas is a little refresh icon we're going to click that and now we see that my guitar shop has appeared in the list of databases which is good now let's open this and we see that uh, we have tables and so now let's open that and now we can see that there are a list of the tables that are part of uh, the market my guitar shop databases and let's um, do just a little exploring okay um, let's look up um, products okay and you may remember from the last time that we did a tutorial that to the right of the table name there are usually three icons the left one um, brings up information about the table the middle one the one with the wrench brings up the settings for the table and then the right one will actually display the contents of the table so if we want the right one we're going to click on that and um, it runs a query maybe we need to get ourselves a little more room here and we can see that we've we've got some seal uh, we've got some columns product ID category ID product code product name and it turns it turns out that uh, the guitar shop is uh, just that it is a music shop that sells instruments and equipment for rock bands um, more or less and so um, we can see that they're selling the famous Gibson Les Paul uh, which has product ID 2 and we can come across here and we can see that the list price on that is $1199 which I think is pretty affordable for a Gibson Les Paul I, I could be wrong um, and that they're offering a 30% discount
okay? And I think we have the date added uh, sometime in 2014, okay? All right, so that's that. So we can tell that um, we have our My Guitar Shop database fully added and we're ready to go. So um, that's all we need to do. Um, if I want to be kind of uh, uh, a uh, neat Nick, I might decide that I'd like to close these tabs because the next time I come back, I don't want them gumming up the works. I closed the two tabs that I had open and now I can close um, Workbench. And so now we have all the databases, uh, or the database, the My Guitar Shop database installed, which is uh, what we need, what we're going to do to, what we're going to need in order to do the My Guitar Shop exercises that we're going to be doing associated with each of the chapters that we cover in the course. And with that information, I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.